Hey guys, it is Sunday, May 18th. I almost said 15th, but it is the 18th. And I said that I was going to try and do something different um, today, and it managed to work out. I found a couple ways for me to make it work. So um, this is going to be a weekly thing that I'm going to try, and it's, we're going to call it This Week in Review. I found a website that was very handy for me to kind of cover the top 10 stories, and they do it with pictures. So um, the audio is going to be a little wonky, but it's basically going to be me voicing over what the pictures are. Um, I will leave a link to the site down below if you are interested in just checking out their full website. Um, well, I'll leave a link to the Week in Review thing that they do. It's This Week in Pictures. Um, and then at the end of it, there is a charity that they advocate every week. So I'm going to research them and see what I think of it. The one for this week is really dear to my heart, so I'm going to definitely uh, push forward with this one. Um, but yeah, let's get started. First up, we have Nicole Kidman dancing with her co-star Lambar Wilson at the Cannes Film Festival. They were celebrating the opening of their film, Grace of Monaco, where Nicole Kidman plays Grace Kelly. Next, we have Manchester City celebrating their win against two, winning their win 2-0 against West Ham for the Premiership Trophy. Here, Buddhist monks are celebrating the Vesak Day, which is the celebrating the birth, enlightenment, and death of Buddha by releasing lanterns into the air. Um, there was a coal mine explosion that killed nearly 300 pe people, and here is rescuers uh, carrying out an injured miner. In Berlin's Tier Park Zoo, a one-week-old pot-bellied pig tries to climb on a stair in its enclosure, and I... Oh, so cute. Uh, in San Marcos, California, wildfires have forced more than 13,000 people to evacuate, and they've caused more than $20 million in damages. Um, the 27-year-old athlete Oscar Pistorius is accused of murdering his girlfriend, and a judge has ordered that he should undergo a 30-day mental health evaluation. Um, there are anti-government protests in Caracas, and right here, a protester is kicking a tear gas canister during a confrontation with riot police. U.S. President Barack Obama and former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg are touring the National September 11 Memorial and Museum, which opens to the public in the next week or so. And supporters of Narendra Modi take cover as a helicopter lifts off carrying her. She will be the first Indian Prime Minister to come from the lower rungs of India's caste system. And finally, uh, there is a charity this week. We're going to start doing this. This one is very near and dear to my heart, given that I have a friend about to have a baby in the next couple weeks. Uh, the White Ribbon Alliance's mission statement is to uphold the right of all women to be safe and healthy before, during, and after childbirth. So that is it for today's video, guys. Um, I hope you guys like it. I'm thinking I'm going to actually do this every Sunday. It's a nice way to kind of wrap up the weekend and kind of get going for next week. Uh, tomorrow is a holiday, actually, here in Canada. It is Victoria Day. Um, I'm sure it has something to do with the former monarch, Queen Victoria, but in all honesty, I'm just happy to have my husband home with me. So, um, tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might do a video with my husband. We shall see. Uh, we've been playing a lot of Diablo lately because of the legendary increase buff they have going for Diablo's second anniversary. Diablo 3's second anniversary, I should say. So, we're pretty much probably going to be doing that all day today, too, and probably most of tomorrow, I'm thinking. I'm assuming it's probably going to last at least a week. So thank you so much for, for watching. Please let me know what you think of this new thing that we're doing. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.